everyone. Welcome to Black Creek Pioneer Village. Uh, my name is Viola McPhee and I'm the shepherd. And these are my sheep. <laughs> um, we have Border Lester sheep here at the village. They're a wonderful breed of sheep that were very, very popular in the 1860s. Um, and they were kept primarily for their wool. So you'll notice here we have some of our girls here. Um, they've already been shorn, um, and then some haven't. So we shear them in May and June, um, and um, we, we stagger it over a few, a few weeks. Uh, we do about one a day or one a week, just depending on our workload. And uh, what we do with the fleeces, once they're shorn, we bring them down to First House, a little log cabin down there. And that's where uh, the wool is processed. So it's cleaned, it's dyed, it's, uh, it's made into yarn so we can make clothing. And rugs, anything made out of wool, we would uh, use from our sheep here. Um, the Border Lester is actually great because they, um, they, they just grow wool on their bodies. If you notice, they, uh, they don't have wool on their faces and their legs. There are some breeds out there that are completely woolly. So they have um, wool on their legs and on their faces, which makes it just more difficult to shear. Um, we have eight sheep in total here at the village. And we have six lambs this year, which are over there. One, two, three, four, five, and there's the sixth one. So they're all out. These lambs here were all born within two weeks of one another. And I would say they're um, about a month old. Some are a little older, obviously, but they've grown quite a lot already. The Border Lester is known to, uh, to grow very, very quickly, and they just need grass to eat. And of course, I gave them a little treat today. I gave them some oats so they would gather around so you could see them all together. Um, so, like I said, our sheep all range within the ages of one month to, uh, let's see, I think this girl here, yeah, she's probably the oldest. She's about eight years old. So eight years is quite substantial for a sheep uh, when you consider that uh, they usually live uh, about 10 to 15 years. So uh, as they get older, they get longer and wider. <laughs> and uh, so that's how you can kind of tell that it's an older sheep, they're just larger. And if you really wanted to know how old the sheep is, you would have to look at their teeth. Um, <laughs> that's one of our youngest sheep over there. You want to have a look at that? Yeah, that's a little boy right there. So, cute. so our sheep live here year round. Um, we have a small breeding program, so every year we have lambs. Um, we have a ram visit us in November, and then five months later, we have these cute little lambs. Uh, most lambs in Canada are born in February, um, but ours, uh, we want cute little lambs for the springtime, so you can see them when the village is open. and. Um, they're just still really little and cute. So as you can see, the lambs will grow very, very quickly because uh, if you look at this sheep here, this sheep here is uh, about a year old. So that just gives you an idea how quickly they grow. So um, here at the village, we also have some other animals. But probably the most important animal to have here at the village is, is the sheep because they would have provided, they were the only uh, animal that would have provided uh, clothing for, for them to wear. So they're uh, just about every, uh. that's so rude, <laughs> just about every settler would have had a small flock of sheep. Uh. Um, between the, the, the number of sheep that we have here, so there's a, uh, there is about, what did I say, eight? I lose track after a while. Uh, that's about representative of what they would have had for a family. So that's just family use. And they would have had a lot, a lot of wool coming from these sheep. So I hope you enjoyed our little visit with our sheep. And um, hope to see you again.